So here we go, ladies, putting that number 24 ranking on the line. Blue Valley Northwest taking on Aquinas this week. Hannah Chaddock gets the cross. Denied at first, but sticks with it, nets it in. one nothing Blue Valley Northwest. We go to the second half. Aquinas attacking. Nikki Alfonson redirects, and we're tied at one. And then late in the second half, Blue Valley Northwest Molly Ong would break the tie with this strike. Wow, buries it from 30 plus yards out. Two to one, Blue Valley Northwest gets the win over Aquinas. Well, at only 15, Ally McFarlane isn't old enough to remember. Soccer here, Aquinas and Miege on the pitch. It's a holy war. It's a holy war. First half, heel pass from Jill Carroll to Nikki Alfonson. She drills it with the left foot. One nothing star. Second half, Miege trying to clear the ball, deflected to Alfonson. Alfonson knows what to do with it. Her second score of the night. Aquinas up by two. And that was big because the winning moments of the game had this happen. Miege's Liz Ulrich would just squeak it past the defense and the keeper. Two to one though is your final. Staw gets the victory. We jump back over to the state line, over the state line to show you Harrisonville and Pembroke Hill. Second half, Harrisonville's Brianna Kendrick. Whoa, great topside netting. Just air mails it. One nothing Harrisonville. A couple of minutes later, Lady Cats back on the attack. Carson Wilson heads it over the goalie, and Haley Parker boots it through. It's two to nothing. Pim Hills Camille Christie then drills the PK to avoid the shutout, but that is all they would garner—a two to nothing, or two one win rather for Harrisonville. Hey, still to come, the high school roundup has been showing lacrosse highlights for the last few years now. Okay, get with the program. Lacrosse time here on the roundup. China Mission East and Pembroke Hill. Hard hitting matchup. Jack Esberg of East scores. And they're on the board first. It's 1 0. More scoring would ensue. Pim Hills, Charlie Mueller steps up. He tosses one in. It's 2 to 1. Shiny Mission East. Second half, Tyler Peterson of Pim Hill breaks the tie. First lead of the match for Pim Hill. It's 12 to 11. Shamish East answers right back. Esberg again. Finds the net again. We're tied at 12. Still tied late in the second half. East would end it. And who else? Esberg. Top shelf. 13 to 12. Shamish East final. East beating Tim Hill for the first time ever. I've surely seen.